Hello, welcome to Flower Chase. My name is John McDonald and this is our Friday bonus video. So today we're going to do just a quick, simple bouquet that's really summery and just using some different flowers from the garden. So I hope you enjoy what we're going to make. Okay, so what we've got here is I've made this little holder. Now this is literally just two rings of cardboard and I've used really strong wire made like a kind of triangular shape and attached them on to the inside of one of these and then put on the other one so that that wire is trapped between the two pieces of cardboard. Then just tape that with some masking tape and then you can basically cover a frame like this with anything that you want. So what I've used is I've actually used dried sweet corn. So this is like the old husk from the sweet corn and uh, you can save them at the end of the summer, let them dry and use them like a dried material for something like this. So that was actually from last year and it's been really handy just having it. So essentially, you bring your wires into the middle, make them into a bit of a handle. I folded them over so they're nice and short. And that's something you want to think about if you're making a bouquet, is that you don't have your wire really going longer than you actually want because it's a bit of a problem trying to cut it after the, the event. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a couple of stems of lilac and this is really just to give me a base into my bouquet and actually what we'll do is we'll put in our foliage first so this is a little bit of asparagus fern and I've also got a little bit of this I think it's called a pyrus fern uh, but it's got a nice kind of silvery foliage which is quite beautiful and we're just creating a little bit of a framework for our flowers. Now, I also found this kind of climber. And I thought this might be quite interesting in our bouquet as well. So we'll just pop that in. And I think this is quite interesting what we can do with it. Might even leave it alone. So I've got some nice flocks. So I'm really putting in my foliage and probably my kind of fillers first. And what we're doing is we're making like a hand tie here. So I've got a little bit of solidigo as well. And I'm really just using materials from my garden. Um, not because of any other reason other than I didn't really want to go to the shop <laughs> and I didn't really want to do anything. Uh, so it was just easy to go out and buy uh, and to just choose some pieces from the garden. Now this is some canna lily and I just love these. I think they're so tropical and interesting. So we're going to put them in. And I don't mind that we've got lots of different colours. I think that's quite interesting. Um, and this is something I absolutely love. It's a beautiful dahlia and uh, I saw the packet in the supermarket earlier in the year and I thought I just love that colour and it really has actually worked out as being as nice as I hoped it would be. But I've also got, so picking up on these colours, I've got this lovely dahlia as well. And dahlias were never something that I really used to like particularly, um, but I have to say they're very easy to grow and they are stunning actually. So if you've never grown them, I would say give it a go. I've got a little bit of lavender. We're just popping in. And this is really just to bring that color through the bouquet. And um, I do have couple of little sunflowers here as well. So these are like a multi-stem sunflower. And another little dahlia. So we've got quite an interesting mix of flowers here. I also picked one or two grasses and we can use them just to give us a little bit of texture and add a little bit of depth. I've also got these little grasses as well, which are quite cute. So if you've got material like this, 
where you've got lots of little bits, it can actually be easier just taking like a little bunch and just working with the little bunch is easier than um, trying to do them all individually. So just pick, say, three or four, bring them together, cut them, hold them like a unit, and then you can just work that in as like a little, little bunch. And this is quite nice as well, just having the, the grass with a different leaf with a different movement on it. Now, so let's to check. I think we'll just lift that up a little bit. So I'm just checking to make sure that everything's sitting the way I want it. And uh, for our vine here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a wire and uh, you probably can't see that very well because it's quite a fine wire but it is a green wire and I'm just going to essentially make like a big hook or a big pin with it and then we can just bring that in and that just secures it in place so with this one I think we'll Take off one or two of the leaves. We have to decide where we want it to go. So you can decide, is it going to go round it? Is it going to go over it? I think in some ways it's probably better doing that. This is where you need to be a little bit of a, an octopus. So, just catch it on one of the nodes and then we can feed in our wire where we want it. So now I can feel the stem on the other side. Now I think this is a little bit busy with leaves, so we'll take off one or two of these. And really that stem is giving us a line within our bouquet. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. So what we need now is just a piece of piece of twine and what we're going to do is we're just going to go around our bouquet a couple of times and tie it we can trim that short and then I can just trim my bouquet so remember I said where the wire is we don't want to we don't have to want we don't want to have to trim above where that is because that just becomes a bit more awkward. So just giving it a final little check, we've got a nice little bouquet that's really pretty and I just want to put this into a nice little pot to make ourselves a little arrangement. So we've not hidden our um, collar that we've created but we have added colours that really stand out by having that collar. Well thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have then click here to subscribe and we always have a brand new video every Tuesday so join us on Tuesday for a floral video and uh, we try and keep the Friday videos going as well. So stay safe everyone, enjoy the good weather if you've got it and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.